An aspect of the AML17 trial, which again was a big trial, more than 3,000 patients, we were interested uh, in a number of issues, one of which was, could we get away from traditional Donor Obisnara C induction? Uh, that combination of 3 plus 7 has been around for 30 or 40 years. And I'm quite critical of trials that don't try to improve on that. They just accept it. So we were quite impressed by Flagida as an effective anti-leukemic uh, treatment in relapse disease. So we thought we would move that up front and randomize that against standard of care, a Donor Obisnara C type approach or a Donor Obisnara C with an etoposide approach. And uh, what we found was that although we didn't improve the overall survival in the long term, the flag Ida patients had a significant reduction in relapse risk. That was balanced by the fact that the, it was more myelosuppressive um, and so you ha we had a few extra deaths and remission that we didn't see in the control arm. So they balanced out. So although the event-free survival and the relapse risk was significantly better, the overall survival failed to reach significant benefit. We did a, we, we, we looked around the data and it was clear that one of the problems with the flag IDA was giving the consolidation. In other words, you had given them such strong treatment, they were immunosuppressed, they were neutropenic for longer, and that meant that the fewer patients went on to get the consolidation therapy. And that's often the case when you toughen up the induction course one, you pay the price of less compliance uh, in post-induction treatment. But, and that usually results in any benefit disappearing. However, in this situation, although this is not randomized data, when we look back at the patients who only got the two induction courses of flag ida and nothing else, but seemed to be well, they, they didn't, it wasn't because they had uh, succumbed. Uh, when we looked at that, these patients did as well as the patients who got conventional DA plus the consolidation. So in other words, the two courses of flag ida were the same uh, as what is achieved by a full conventional arrangement. When we looked at the patients who got the flag ida and did get the consolidation, I think the survival was about 75%. So it, it suggests to us that there's something in this flag ida, but it's difficult to give, uh, it is more toxic, and probably we need to give the patients a bigger rest between treatments. But there is a possibility that you, in the future with flag ida, if we get good at using it, all you'll need is two courses of flag ida. And that's being prospectively, that was a retrospective hypothesis generating observation. But um, that's now being prospectively looked at currently in the UK trial, where they can get randomized to get flag ida and, and two courses and that is all, or they can get other interventions. So, I think flag ida is a very, I mean, a lot of people use it in relapse because it is a very good anti-leukemic treatment, but it, it's tough to give.